Hey guys, this is Jay from the Private Dev Team. Today I'll I'll be doing like a proof of concept, I guess, of downgrading my iPhone 4 GSM all the way down to version 4.1. Um, my phone actually came on 4.3.0, and I can uh, prove that by showing you my serial number later. So I never had a chance to save my SHSH blobs. And in, t in the interest of time, I'll go ahead and fast forward this video and talk about it at the end. Alright, and for <clears throat> from this point forward, I'll keep the phone, try to keep the phone in view to prove that it's the, same, the exact same phone. And close out iTunes. Open up Red Snow. There's a minor bug. As soon as you restore, you gotta uh, like reboot the device. The device. So you hold both buttons down for ten seconds. Um, because of the way that Blue Freeze works, you won't see an Apple logo. All right. Right back over here and just boot it up with Red Snow. Alright, all right, so I found what the problem was. I forgot that Red Snow needs to be run in compatibility mode and run as administrator. So we'll go and run it again. And I'll select the IPSW so it's a little quicker. There we go. And here we go. Um, since this is iOS 4, we'll have to open up iTunes to activate the phone. Here we are, and iTunes is going to activate it. Here's my the phone. It's going to show you right here in general about. It's on version 4.0, carrier 
um, 16 gig iPhone 4 and here the serial number you can see it was made um, in the year 2011 week 26 which is um, it's just after 4.1 uh, 4 release Apple is no longer signing it and uh, a little more proof that I'm on 4.1 go and recreate that bug that was in 4.1 with the passcode and the phone app oops try again and here we go Press 1 to change your personal options. Press... Alright, anyway, there are a few problems with 4.1. Um, let me enter my voicemail password real quick. A few problems. Whenever you lock it for an extended period of time, it'll try to go to sleep and turn off radios and stuff to save battery. I don't know exactly what's going on, but... um. You'll have to jailbreak it and install Prevent Sleep from Cydia and then enable that through an SP settings tweak or FB settings toggle. I don't know why. And then it'll. If you don't do that, after it tries to sleep, it'll go into a DFU mode loop. And even if you do a restore um, back onto the 4.1, I guess, it will fail or it, it'll think it's working. But the screen will be off. You'll n you'll never see anything on the screen. You. The only way to get out of it is to install a still a valid signed firmware. So if you get an old iFaith blob, that'll work. Or um, the current iOS five. I'm just gonna go and jailbreak it real quick so you guys can see the prevent sleep thing. Alright, I'm back. Once again, it's tethered, so you have to go red snow. The automatic detection does work. Let's go ahead and show you that. It does detect it as 4.1. There we go, iPhone 4, GSM, iOS 4.1. Wait for download all the packages. And when you also see I don't have... I do not have SHSH blobs for 4.1. I only started getting them on 4.3.3. I'll go and install Prevent Sleep. Now it's also, it's just an SB settings toggle, so you'll have to get that too. Now I've got a few questions 
in case Muscle Nerd and I Hate Snow are watching this. Muscle Nerd, um, please shoot me an email at this address if you think there's anything that um, may make you think that this is fake, because it's not fake. I Hate Snow, please just unblock me. Now you know that it's not fake, what I was, post, uh, I was tweeting to you about. I'll see you after I've been asleep. And now it's safe to lock it. And you just wait. It'll lo stay locked. Your battery will drain slightly quicker because Wi-Fi won't ever turn off. But it's better than being in that horrible DFU mode loop. It's like really weird. Alright, um, thanks for watching. If you want to view our blog, it's right here. On, on the link, right, right here. Thanks for watching.